Hi guys and welcome back to Lily White FC. As you may have seen from some recent videos, I have taken up playing airsoft recently and as a beginner in airsoft, I wanted to be able to share my journey for you guys so you can actually come along the journey with me, see where I might be making pitfalls or see where I'm doing good in certain areas so you guys can hopefully not make the mistakes that I'm making and also potentially adopt some of the things that I do in airsoft so you guys could also adopt it as well. So as you know from the first video that I put out where I was playing at Trigger Happy, at the very beginning of that video I also showed you my first weapon that I bought which was my Glock, M uh, Glock 17 um, and uh, you know it's, it's running really well, um, I played a couple of games at some other areas since, I didn't document them because I'm an idiot um, but uh, yeah absolutely loving this pistol, got the two magazines, it runs through fine, I haven't had any issues with it so far touch wood in my shed um, so you know absolutely loving this but as you can see from the title I've got myself a new weapon and I'm just gonna go and grab it and then we're gonna review it so this is the Kaima MP5 I bought this off a friend um, for a nice uh, reduced price uh, the reason why mainly is because when I bought this uh, it was actually running at a high FPS in Northern Ireland uh, you can't have an FPS any higher than 328 um, and this was running roughly around about 345 so uh, it was running a little bit hot so I ended up taking it to um, a, a guy uh, down at Gears of War um, and they reduced the FPS for me a really good deal down there as well Gears of War great bunch of lads down there they're quite happy for you to stand around look around the shop have a chat you know have a look at some of the weapons uh, I've got my eyes on uh, something in there that I would like to potentially get my hands on but anyway this is the Kaima MP5 so we'll just do a quick overview of the uh, weapon itself. I'll uh, show you some of the uh, standout points uh, on it and uh, we'll put a couple of rounds through it at a, uh, one of my targets. So here we go then, just having a look. Uh, as you can see here, this is the uh, muzzle brake or flash hider if it was a real weapon. Um, and uh, also you've got iron front sights here. Uh, the weapon, uh, when you buy it, actually comes with the uh, rails on the side and also on the bottom as well. And it also comes with this um, foregrip. It's actually quite a uh, sturdy foregrip. Um, it clips into place really well. It doesn't move. I'm actually putting a little bit of effort through this and it's not moving anywhere. However, this rail here, I got the other week. And I also did get a red dot sight as well to go with it. Unfortunately though, um, I think I screwed it a little bit too hard with the screwdriver to adjust the uh, elevation on it and I broke it. So I'm not too fussed because it wasn't that expensive but at the end of the day it was a little bit of a waste of money so don't tell the wife. Uh, got the magazine release here, uh, you've got the flappy one which is the normal one which you, you know you take the magazine out um, but you've also got um, a backup here as well so if something goes wrong with the flappy one you've also got a little button suppression one here which is also yeah, again quite handy. Moving back, uh, got the trigger and also the um, grip as well. Uh, quite good in my hand, uh, as you can see there fits my hand really well. Uh, my finger, uh, mid middle finger and my little finger fit in their area absolutely perfectly. And you've also got the fire selector switch which is ambidextrous. So as you can see here on this side, I'm changing it on the other side. So you've got single and you've got full automatic. Carrying on back along here then, uh, you've got the rear sight, uh, which as you can see has uh, multiple options. So you've got like a, a wide, wide end, well, uh, sorry, a wide one, medium, smaller, and the smallest. But uh, just keep it on the medium one there, it doesn't really much, make much difference. And as you can see here, stock is closable. So if you wanted to, you can actually make it a little bit smaller. So if you're doing some CQB stuff, you can just literally just pop it up and keep it in there. And then when you're back out in the field, you've got the full extension of the stock there. Not my favourite stock, to be honest with you. I like more collapsible ones where you can adjust them because, you know, you've got different arm lengths and everything on those lines. But this one actually fits pretty well. All I have to do is just adjust the foregrip a little bit back, um, you know, or if i am uh, you know, got my magazine on there, I can also put my hand in there and bring it up there so it's nice and tight. Moving along to the other side, um, as you know, this is obviously ambidextrous, ambidextrous, as I've already said. This thing here, 
I have no idea what this is for. Uh, I don't know if it's there because it's on the real one uh, or whether this actually has any kind of you know use. Uh, if anybody can tell me what this little thing here is for in the comments below, I really appreciate that. And coming along to the front again, you can see here you've got a charging handle. The charging handle doesn't actually do anything, it's not a blowback, uh, so there's no um, adjustment on it or anything on those lines. But what it does do when you actually pull the handle back, yeah, again, flipping over the other side, you can see it reveals the hop up in there. And as you can see there, there's a little slide there, put it back put it forward and it adjusts the hop up on the weapon. Now one thing I do love about this weapon is also the charging handle, a little bit of Steven Seagal from the old uh, films and just hit it down and it goes forward like that. I absolutely love that, I love that action. And that's it, that is the Kyma MP5. Now I'm going to uh, run some rounds for it now, just going to like I say set up a target down range downrange and listen to me i'm going to set up a target down near the house just going to put a magazine on which i actually i'm going to show you in a second i actually picked this up from uh hang on two secs i picked up this magazine from uh the knots corner market at the weekend um i'll pay three quid for this absolutely brilliant i actually got three magazines with the weapon they're all high caps and none of them run as well as this one does this one is absolutely brilliant just literally it's a high cap magazine um it just fills up on the one hand on the left hand side so it doesn't hold as many rounds as the other high cap magazines but i just actually like it i like the feel of it and like i say it runs through really really well which i'm going to show you in a second so let's get the target set up run a couple of rounds through it and uh, then we'll end the video so as you can see down there at the end of my garden, at the front of my garden, I've got myself a uh, target set up. Okay, so here's the magazine. Literally just going to wind it up then uh, just to uh, pop some rounds into the top. Um, I've actually filled it up um, just, to, uh, just so I can actually put it in. So that's it in the weapon. Don't have to do any more, no charging, like I said, or anything on those lines. Eye protection obviously must be adhered to all the time. Unfortunately, getting a bit of a fogging issue here. A little bit annoying. Come on, there you go. That's better. So anyway, let's uh, just put some rounds into the uh, target then. First shot, dead on, love it. Overhead shots. Okay, so fogging issue here is really freaking doing my head in. I uh, need to adjust the hop up a little bit. So I put the safety on and adjust the hop up a little bit. I'm going to change my eye probe because these are fogging up. So I'm going to put on my uh, mesh ones. So hitting the target, doing pretty well with this. So as you can see, single shots, nice and reactive. Um, I'm winding it up for a reason. Gonna do, give it a bit of auto. Nice and there. Nice trigger happy there. So just gonna step back just so you can see hopefully some of the rounds coming out. Might put a little bit of a slow-mo on it. love this weapon absolutely love it like i say this magazine is absolutely brilliant it feeds really really well it feeds a lot better than uh than like say the other high caps do i actually you know i know that i'm only what 20 30 yards away from the target absolutely bang on hitting it perfectly
all of them dead down the dead down the middle. So anyway, that is it. That is the Kaima MP5. Absolutely amazing weapon. Um, would strongly suggest uh, a great weapon for a starter, and also if you want to do some CQB stuff. And uh, yeah, so hopefully uh, take this down to my local uh, CQB place this weekend. Might do a video about that. Thanks very much for watching the video today, guys. Please subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on the next video.